There are several reasons for that. Uh, I guess the simplest reason that people can um, uh, understand, perhaps why the, this is the case, is the following. So whatever you see around you, only the visible, what we call the visible matter, or what is known as the standard model, is only 5% of the energy budgets of the universe. 25% is something that we call dark matter, and we call it matter, it's matter because we know it interacts with gravity the same way we interact with gravity. And we call it dark because it doesn't interact with light, not because it's evil. So, and we know it from, it's the glue that keeps the galaxies together, and we know it's there from astrophysical observations. The rest now, 5%, 25%, around, the rest of the 70% is something even more weird. We call it dark energy, or uh, most of us call, refer to it as the cosmological constant. And uh, that, in fact, is a very peculiar form of energy. Okay, let me see if, if I, I don't know if it's a good analogy, I keep using it. Let's see how this goes. So when you, when you inflate a balloon and you, and you touch the balloon, you see that it gets colder, right? So that means that the molecules inside start moving more slowly. Um, so the energy density goes down, right? Because the volume is expanding. So that's, that's, uh, that's usually how things work. Now imagine that you had an energy density that as things were expanding, it was remaining constant. It wasn't changing. So this is what, is what is dark energy, basically. We know, again, from astrophysical observation, we know because it affects the motion of distant galaxies, of supernova data, of what we see from the CMB, and uh, the cosmic microwave background. Um, and of course, again, it's dark because it doesn't interact with light. Um, so this is the most puzzling component, in fact, of, uh, of the universe, the biggest component. In fact, if you calculate what you think it is in the standard model, you would find it at least 60 orders of magnitude bigger than what we measure it. This is one followed by 60 zeros, right? So this is one of the biggest puzzles, why we call it the cosmological constant problem or, uh, or um, why, why is the cosmological constant problem, why is the cosmological constant so small? Or reverse why is the universe so large? So because of this energy density, what it wants to do, it, it pushes things away. It drip, basically it drives galaxies away from each other. And from the looks of it, actually, the future of the, of the cosmos is very grim, that it will end up in a very cold, empty place because of this. Now, the big question is, if our theories were correct, though, this should have happened a long, long time ago. So the universe wouldn't have grown to be so large and so old. So the question about how the universe is so large is, why is the universe so big, is another way to restate the same problem. So this tiny small number um, is something that we really don't understand. And we have no good ideas other the, than the existence of 10 to the 500 universes that may explain it. So... Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so that, these are some of the things that uh, we think that is worth understanding further.